We continue to cover the public memorial for Marlins superstar Jose Fernandez. When the hearse bearing his casket arrived in Marlins Park, it was surrounded by teammates and owner Jeffrey Loria praying together for their fallen friend. Another powerful image, Loria presenting Fernandez's mother with his Marlins jersey. She wept and held it tight. And then players and fans, so many with their hands on the hearse, walked slowly with the vehicle as it rolled through the crowd before stopping for another group prayer. No doubt it has been such an emotional day for so many right here in South Florida. And the public now has the opportunity to say goodbye at St. Brendan Catholic Church in Miami. And that's where we find our sports director, Will Manso, live. Will. Victor Janine, we've been here throughout the day and it was around five o'clock where they started this public viewing and what has been a very emotional day for everyone in South Florida, in particular the family of Jose Fernandez, who we have seen a number of times, his abuela, his mother, the Marlins, his team. Of course, his teammates have a game tonight, but they did see him at Marlins Park earlier, which we'll show you more of in a bit. But what I want to show you now is as I step out, I know it's tough to see because they've actually got media staged here. It's about to actually go inside here to St. Brendan Catholic Church. This is the line that is formed. It's been a few hours now that people have lined up. This line goes on for blocks. And when I tell you that there are people coming through here, hundreds and hundreds over the four, five, six minutes, you see people, people coming and going and coming. Yet there are still many, many more far down that I can't even see where this line ends. That tells you the amount of love and support that is going on right now for Jose Fernandez at this public viewing at St. Brendan Catholic Church. Now we also got video of people coming out of the church. That means the people that have already had the opportunity to go inside and pay their last respects to Jose and send that final farewell inside during this public viewing. We have not gotten a chance to go inside, but the people you see here in the video we're showing you did. We've seen a lot of young Jose fans, they're all ages, but one particular eight-year-old we had a chance with who is here today. Well, it was very touching, very, very touching. The whole entire family of the Marlins were there, the family of Mr. Uh, Jose Fernandez. I was uh, a friend of my, a friend of his uh, for about two years, and, you know, a wonderful guy, full of life, you know, a champ and a hero. That's, that's to me, he, what he is. You saw there one of the parents, one of the folk people that were inside. Again, we saw younger kids as well that we spoke to. We'll bring that to you later on. As you can imagine, a lot of people here, young and old, to honor and be here, Jose Fernandez. And I'll tell you what, it's been such an emotional, emotional day. We showed it to you earlier. If you missed it earlier, we want to show you exactly what went on here around 345. That is when the hearse arrived through that procession that started at Mullins Park made its way through La Mita de Caridad and then finally here to St. Brendan Catholic Church. And when I tell you that it was about as emotional as you could be, the people here, it's not an understatement because they had the pallbearers that came out, took out the casket with Jose's body inside, his mother, his abuela there, along with numerous family members and loved ones to go inside here and set up again. That was around 345. They closed the doors and then opened them back up for the public at 5 p.m. It's been an emotional day at times it has been hard to watch. But this continues till 11 o'clock tonight. So as we bring it back out live, you see the media staging area here. We have a photographer that is here in this group of the media who is going to go inside respectfully so for a few minutes, get a little bit of video of what is going on inside. They have told us that it's just a few minutes for the media, no lights, no interviews, nothing like that, just to give you a sense of what is going on and what people are seeing in this public viewing tonight. We'll have that for you at six o'clock. But once again, if you plan on coming out here tonight, they want you to enter through the Southwest 87th side that is where the barricade is set up. So wherever you end up parking, you need to end up on that side, and this will be open to the public this viewing till 11 p.m. Lori, Calvin, or I should say Victor Janine, I apologize. Will, thank you so much. That line long already only expected to grow throughout the night. And earlier today, a lot of folks were gathering at Marlins Park. Very emotional there. So let's turn it over to Amy Viteri, who is there with what's happening now. Well, Janine, this is the first stop along that procession and Marlins Park. This is where so many people, both Marlins fans and non sports fans alike, came to love Jose Fernandez. And you can see out here this evening, as they have been doing all throughout this week, fans still coming out to pay tribute, including signing this wall outside of the ballpark with messages to Fernandez. And we have video of that procession from Sky 10, which flew over Marlins Park earlier this afternoon. And you can see Marlins players surrounding that hearse, placing their hands on it. And you can also see the fans right there with them up close, lining the street, 
So many people came out starting early this morning for the chance to say goodbye to that young star pitcher. And here outside the ballpark, as we've been mentioning throughout the afternoon, we saw team owner Jeffrey Loria personally walk up to Fernandez's mother, Marita Fernandez. He gave her a big hug there. You could see both of them emotional in tears before he eventually presents her with Fernandez's jersey. Obviously, this tragedy is such a personal loss for the team, given the relationship it has had with the pitcher's family, helping to bring his abuela here from Cuba so that she could see her grandson play in person in the major leagues for the Marlins. And another view here on the ground, you could see the emotion from Marlins players there as they walked alongside that hearse, escorting it, each of them wearing white T-shirts, you can see with the message, rest in peace, along with an image of Jose Fernandez there in the center. It's been a terribly emotional week for so many of those teammates who shared a very close bond with their young teammate. And here tonight, they will be having to take the field one more time, playing with what we can imagine are very heavy hearts. They will take the field this evening to wrap up their series against the New York Mets. This is their final home game of the season, and the team will be off tomorrow, and they will be able to attend the funeral to pay their respects for Jose Fernandez. We're live at Marlins Park. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. Amy, thank you. A ballpark and in some respects a memorial right now. No way how these guys are going to get it together to play this game. It's going to be very, very tough for them. No doubt. And the first stop for this procession was in Coconut Grove at La Ermita de la Caridad, and that is where we find Local 10's Nikki Mohan with our continuing coverage. Nikki. What a poignant moment here today, Janine and Victor, at a church that means so much to the Cuban-American community. They said goodbye to their beloved son. At the shrine of Cuban-Americans, La Ermita de la Caridad, the faithful lined the roadway to Father Juan Dominguez. Father Dominguez offering hugs, comfort, and prayer to his family and friends before blessing Jose Fernandez's casket. His family's pain on display for the people gathered here who grieve their loss. I can relate to the pain of my community, my Cuban American community and Miami. Jose Fernandez was a figure that we all looked up to as young Cuban Americans and being close in age to him. It's devastating knowing that someone who worked so hard for his dream and he actually did accomplish it is gone. The shrine of Our Lady of Charity is so symbolic, especially to those who risked their life on the ocean like Fernandez did to come to the United States. It was very emotional, especially since our sanctuary sits on the bay and Jose um, came into this country through those waters, through the Florida Straits, four tries. And on the fourth, he made it. He made it to this wonderful free country. Many wearing his jersey as they spent the last moments with his family. Fernandez's family knew how much his community meant to him, and the community appreciated having this moment to say goodbye. Jose Fernandez is not only a debatable um, player, yeah. he's, he's a good son. Good people. Good people. Don't believe it. And it really felt so intimate. Just about 100 people gathered here with the mayor of Miami, the police chief, but mainly regular people who walked over from Mercy Hospital, where there were nurses who walked over from the street, or parishioners here of Our Lady of Charity Church. Really just a personal way to let this family know how much they are in mourning, too. In Coconut Grove, Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.